Hi loves, welcome back. Today I am back with a Dollar Tree haul and I am really pumped about this one because I found some really good stuff. I went to a couple different locations because I wanted to get everything for an updated full face of Dollar Tree makeup which is probably coming next week or the following. And you already know the Dollar Tree sucked me in and I got a bunch of other goodies as well that I wanted to show you guys. I love me some Dollar Tree. I do miss when everything was a dollar but we'll have to just settle for a dollar twenty-five for now. And I don't know if you guys have been to the Dollar Tree recently but the ones that I went to even had an entire section dedicated to things that were five dollars and under which i thought was so random it kind of reminded me of five below they had leggings socks i don't know if that's at every location but i was surprised but everything that i got was a dollar 25 and also i just got done filming this entire video about an hour ago i went to edit it and every couple of months my microphone decides to just give up on me and not work and i guess today is the day so the audio was pretty much messed up throughout the entire video so i'm refilming it a couple of things are opened so we're gonna pretend that they're not but whatever we're redoing this grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it and have some girl time so i put all my goodies back in this laundry basket which is the first thing that i got actually i just needed something for bernard's little toys and blankets whenever i wash them and fold them and put them away and this was perfect i mean a dollar 25 for a laundry basket sign me up i also found these himalayan pink bath salts which i did not expect i've never seen these before and i love getting baths and i love the fact that there's no additives to these like fragrances or anything it's just the pink salt so we love that i am so excited for fall as much as i love summer and i do wish honestly we had another month of summer not gonna lie i don't want it to end but i am excited for fall and to decorate the house and i usually decorate the house every year on my vlog channel juicy jazz vlogs if you're not subscribed definitely go subscribe and i highly recommend the dollar tree for little decor because it's so affordable and you can find a lot of hidden gems there and these little pumpkins i'm obsessed with them they're so cute they're really good quality too like I don't know what kind of material this is, but there's a little bit of weight to them. They don't feel like the styrofoam, very like cheapy type of pumpkins. Like these are actually reusable and really nice quality. So I got a white one, an orange one so adorable i also got these too i might put these in the kitchen or in the bathroom this one i'm going to use in the kitchen it's just like a kitchen pumpkin to me that's what it reminds me of oh and then this one too i have actually a towel that i got from the dollar tree with little sunflowers for fall and i'm gonna put this in there and it's gonna be adorable i'm so excited so i can't wait to decorate but you can never have enough pumpkins right for the fall so i actually here's another one so how many pumpkins did i get one two three four five six seven seven is the lucky number so that's the last one that i got love then i got two of these bars of soap the natural sense pure castile soaps i have never seen these before how good do these look i'm gonna use these to clean my makeup brushes and my under eye puffs that i use to set my makeup Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I love fresh soaps. Actually, fun fact about me, I really enjoy buying soaps. But there's olive oil, coconut oil, and shea butter, and it says that they're also sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free. Obviously, you could use this for literally anything, but for eye brushes and for my little powder puffs is what I want to use this for. I usually specifically like to use bars of soap for these kind of puffs because you can just take the puff and rub it directly onto the soap, and then all the makeup just starts to melt away when you wring it under the water. Really good find. I'm happy about those. I stocked up on my favorite exfoliating cloths. So these are what I use in the shower. And this is honestly equivalent to a loofah in a washcloth form. So I used to only ever use loofahs because I felt like they actually cleaned my body. And whenever I would use a washcloth, I felt like it was a little bit too soft. But this is literally, like I said, a loofah in a washcloth form. You get an exfoliating side and then you also get a terry cloth side. So this is perfect, obviously, just for your weekly showers. But also if you self-tan and you want to exfoliate this one is so good it is a little bit more rough it's not super soft but that's what i like about it because when i'm washing my body it actually feels like it's getting clean honestly ever since i started using this i never use a loofah or anything else literally top tier washcloth this next thing i got is this under eye cream it's papaya and vitamin c it says it helps depuff hydrate and brighten the under eyes does it really i don't know but i got this specifically just to really moisturize my under eyes before i do my makeup and something that i always do before i buy skincare and things at the dollar tree i'll use the app yuka which this is not sponsored by the way but I'll usually just scan whatever the product is and if it comes up as like a decent product on the app then I will usually purchase it like this one says it's excellent honestly the app is not always accurate from what I've heard but I do use it from time to time and I mean granted there's still products that I use that don't show up the best on the app 
So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but it's fun sometimes to check the products. But yeah, I got this. I feel like it's just going to be a standard hydrating eye cream. I picked up these eyeshadows from LA Colors. LA Colors can be hit or miss. Some of their stuff is really good. Others you can probably pass on, but their eyeshadows apparently are new and improved. I already swatched this one here, but I will show you. It actually is not terrible. I mean, we'll see how it looks on the eyes, but this is what they look like. I don't think that looks terrible i mean for a dollar 25 palette and this is just a swatch i can imagine when i have it on the eyes it might be a little bit more doable because i always say that you can make any products work no matter how affordable they are if you have the right makeup tools since we're talking about la colors let's shout out this lip combo that i'm wearing so i have on the rare beauty lip liner in the shade wise and then i topped it off with the hydrating lipstick from la colors and this one is in the color take it easy i'm sorry that the packaging is all torn up but this is what it looks like. It's such a pretty pinky nude. So that's what it's on my lips today. And then I just added a little bit of lip oil over top. Isn't that so pretty? These lipsticks are really nice. They have a couple different colors and they're pretty sheer, but they are buildable, especially with the lip liner and stuff. I think it just looks really nice. The smell, it's a little bit kind of like crowns, but I really love the color. I feel like this is one of those lipsticks that you can just throw in your purse and just reapply with throughout the day because it's not super long lasting, but it is really nice. And the formula feels nice too. We love her that is what's on my lips and then I also got this gloss I already swatched this because it said new look so I was like let me see if this compares to another gloss that I've tried from LA colors I don't really love this I like the lipstick more it's okay but not my fave it's only $1.25 but still save your $1.25 and just get the lipstick because I mean the gloss is not bad it smells good it's just not it you know it's okay but it's just not just get the lipstick if you go to the dollar tree and you want to do the product ioni coming through with the blush this is the blush in the shade stellar pink and then i also have this one that i got in celestial peach these are gorgeous i really love the brand ioni la colors and there's another brand that i'll talk to you guys about in a minute called be pure at the dollar tree i think those are like the top three brands and look how cute this little blush is it's a Barbie pink. It kind of looks like what I have on my cheeks today. This doesn't look super intense, but I feel like with blush, it's okay if it's not super pigmented because you can usually build it up. But that is the color right there. It does feel very soft when you touch it. It doesn't feel very chalky. This is really pretty as well. They had a couple different colors. They had brighter shades as well. These are the more neutral colors that I got. Oh, well, that's nice. I always either get pink or a pinchy, pinchy, peachy orange blush. New concealer alert. This is from the brand Be Pure. It's the Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. In my last Dollar Tree video, I tried out a foundation from this brand that was actually so good. It reminded me of a drugstore serum foundation. I don't know why, when I first saw this, it reminded me of something from like L'Oreal or something, but it truly goes on like a drugstore foundation. So this is definitely a hidden gem. I only wish that it came in more shades, but very impressed with that so i wanted to try this i figured maybe i could even use this as a foundation and a concealer i also picked up this little it's an eyeliner but also it's called the fat chubby stick it's kind of like a shadow stick eyeliner and it's in the color singapore from ioni this is gorgeous you guys it's a beautiful bronzy color like a true bronze and it has this really pretty kind of sheen to it. So I cannot wait to try this out. I feel like this would be so pretty all over the lid, maybe on the waterline. I smell everything. I don't know why. I've always been this way, even when I was little. My mom would yell at me because I always smelled the food before I would eat it. And she'd be like, no huelas la comida. Don't smell the food. Also picked up these brow pencils because these also say new and improved. I've tried these before. I don't really like these, to be honest. The ones that I used before, they weren't bad. I just find them to be pretty waxy. So we'll see how this new formula is. But I got the color dark brown and medium. I'm going to use one as a lip liner and then the other one will be for my brows. And I love that you also get a little spoolie on the end as well. Ioni has this Shea Butter Lipstick, which honestly is kind of like a tinted lip balm. This one is in the color africa and it's kind of like a your lips but better shade that is a really nice shade right definitely goes on not as opaque as a lipstick more like a tinted lip balm but it has a bit of a shine to it too which is pretty this i honestly thought that i could use this makeup stick as a little cream blush because it was pink like something you know glowy and light but when i swatched it it's not that pigmented so i don't think i'm going to be able to use it but it's the la colors makeup stick three in one it says so maybe i can use this as an inner corner highlights because for the cheeks it's just going to be way too light 
I mean, the swatch is kind of like non-existent. So you could even put this on your lips with a lip liner because it's kind of like a really sheer frosty pink. And this is a new brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. La Mercy Airy matte finish setting spray so i got that and then let me show you guys this eyeshadow palette too from the same brand it's the nude smoky shimmery eyeshadow palette so this is an all shimmer palette and when i swatched this i was actually pretty shocked at how nice the colors went on these feel a little bit more soft and slightly more pigmented than the la colors eyeshadows that i showed you guys this green color reminds me of the color smog from the urban decay naked palette the original which i I'm so sad that I decluttered that palette. I wish I would have kept it because it's iconic and you can't get it anymore because it's discontinued, but so sad. Anyways, this is really pretty. So I really like that. I can't wait to see how these are going to look with a brush on the eyes. Maybe even spraying with the, some setting spray will help to make them pop, but I'm definitely going to use this color when I do my makeup because I love greens all year round, but especially in the fall time stunning and this was something else that i tried that i actually really liked the crystal lip gloss from Bioni. it's just a clear gloss but it smells so good it smells like vanilla from when i did apply it it didn't go on super sticky which i love but this is also one of those products that you just throw in your purse and you could just put this over anything this to be honest goes on like a lip oil it doesn't feel like a gloss it has a kind of like that oily hydrating feel to it it's like a brown sugar vanilla i'm here for it one more bag of goodies i will forever rave about ioni lashes and i love trying out all the different styles every time i go to the dollar tree i feel like they have different styles but these are the singapore fluffy hybrid crisscross spiky lashes so dramatic but still i find them to be very wearable you can also reuse these which is really nice they honestly remind me of a lash that could be sold at the drugstore like they don't feel like dollar lashes they're really really nice la colors has these dramatic false lashes as well i got the style delightful i did try another pair of these before i don't remember what style it was but i trimmed the inner corner and i guess you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to trim the outer corner of your lashes instead so i thought the lashes were pretty but they were a little bit too long and i just i felt like they weren't flattering on my eye shape so i wanted to try them again and this time trim the outer corner instead of the inner corner i did like how easy they were to apply and so i just wanted to try them to be honest i love different lashes i'm obsessed lashes lip products and makeup brushes are my three all-time favorite things in beauty to be honest ioni also has this clear and lightweight brow gel that i want to try too i picked up clear vinyl gloves for whenever i'm putting on any type of hair product that involves getting messy and staining my hands these are always good to have and it's a 10 pack too and it says one size fits most also i love getting school supplies and whenever it is that time of year like august i love just getting notebooks and pens it makes me feel nostalgic for being in school because I haven't been in school in about five years and I do miss it not gonna lie I wanted to graduate so bad and be done with it but now I'm like oh I kind of want to go back to school sometimes but anyways these little to-do list pads are adorable and so me I love writing things down it really helps me to get things done and stay more organized especially when I have a million things in my mind I have to write them down and these have little magnets too so you can put them on your fridge I also got these little antibacterial wet wipes I'm gonna put these in my purse I always have these in my purse in the car everywhere i go through them and i honestly use them for a bunch of different things like to wipe my hands even my phone sometimes because your phone can be so dirty and you're probably not supposed to use these on your phone sometimes i use alcohol wipes too on my phone probably not supposed to do that too but they say your phone can be the dirtiest thing ever so friendly reminder clean your phone i got some white out i got some little gel pens i love getting these kinds of stuff especially like things like white out and stuff at the dollar tree because this stuff can be overpriced, I find, at other stores, so just get it at the Dollar Tree. Do I need these pushpins? No. Did I get them because they're $1.25? Yes, and because these little pearls are so cute, so I got pushpins. I got these little pot holders. I am a diehard Dollar Tree fan when it comes to things like this for the house, like little kitchen towels, glassware. It's great quality. I mean, for what it is, I've had some of my decorative kitchen towels that I kind of alternate seasonally for a couple years, and they're still in really good condition. And this is the last thing that I picked up. It's this multi-purpose cleaning paste. I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for the pink stuff, which I love that stuff. I actually, I'm almost out of the tub that I have because I use it so much, but it's a really good paste. I usually get it on Amazon, but you can get it at the drugstore as well. But I guess it's supposed to be pretty much like an alternative to that. I wanted to try it and see how it compares to the original, but it's a multi-surface.
surface cleaning paste you can use kitchen bathroom laundry room indoors outdoors wherever i even like it on the walls if you ever have stains and with this cleaning paste what's nice about it is you just need a tiny amount and a little bit goes a long way and it'll help to remove stains dirt grime whatever it's a lifesaver so i'm curious to see how this compares to the original this was a really good dollar tree haul i found lots of goodies a little bit of everything to be honest which i love i'm most excited for some of the makeup for sure but these pumpkins i cannot wait to decorate so stay tuned for that on my vlog channel and stay tuned for my dollar tree makeup look thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed and i cannot wait to see you very soon in my next one bye